Hello and welcome to another Collecting Chaos, not the Eternal My Light Project. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start this video off with DC's Showcase, number 82 from May of 1969 with a wonderful cover by Joe Kubert. The first Nightmaster, this first Nightmaster comic was drawn by uh, Jerry Grandinetti with some help from Dick Giordano. And from there, we'll go to this first issue of a comic-sized preview called New Age Comics. This was published by Fantagraphic Books in 1985, and this is the first issue. I never saw another issue. I don't know if they continued it or not. But uh, it has some interesting uh, advertisements in it as to things that were coming out. Now let's look at Morphos, the Shape Changer, it's published by in 1996 by Dark Horse Comics, and has illustrations by the absolute master of comic book art, Bern Hogarth. Now you can disagree with me if you want, but Hogarth actually wrote the books on figure drawing. And we'll just peek inside so you can see a little bit of what he did here. It's not very well focused. Let me get it, see if I can get it better for you. There you go. Gorgeous artwork. Like I said, the absolute master. And from that, we'll go to a little known publisher. Well, it was at the time. The very next year, it wasn't so little. Uh called Valiant, and from that we have Super Mario Brothers 3, 4, and 6, all from 1990, and uh, really heavy duty covers, kind of neat stuff there, if you're into Super Mario Brothers. Now, I realize that I might never be able to afford the first 10 issues of Superman. I'm sort of okay with that since I have these. The Superman Archive Editions, number one and two, which cover the first ten issues of Superman and reprints them in their entirety. So I'm a little okay with that. Of course, I'd rather have the comics, but these are going to be the next best thing. I'd like to get three and four so I don't have to worry about the first twenty. Hmm. I haven't mentioned Neil Adams at all this this episode, have I? <laughs> I guess I just did. Did you know that he did a comic for wow, for Now Comics back in uh, June of 1993? <laughs> well, he did. And here it is. Mr. T and the T-Force. Neil Adams. And if I open it up... <laughs> There's no way you can mistake that artwork. There was at least three issues of that. Now I was rummaging around in some of my stuff and I came across this. And that's, yeah, it's a whole pack of them. I'll pull one out so you can see the whole thing. And this was a little bit of an advertising flyer they sent to retailers. I've got a lot of this stuff somewhere. And uh, kind of neat. Now the last thing I'm going to show you today, after 20 years, I opened a case. And I took something out just to show that I really do have it and I don't know if it's going to show up very well or not there you go I have six of them all in the case this will go back in that case and I'm going to tape it back shut but uh, 
partially to show that I actually have it and partially I kind of wanted to make sure that they weren't damaged and as you can see they are not damaged it's going to go back in its case so that I have new old stock Bride of Chucky well that's it for this episode of not the eternal my light project I do hope that those uh, my lights come in this week I'm way behind the schedule and I hope you enjoyed the video bye